delete by id id and the name here so if you notice there are action http verbs also defined here it is a get call it is a get call and this one is a delete and this one is a get call as we defined here http get 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 and http delete so that's what here mentioned so that's how we can define the routes but as we have discussed there is a issue with this thing so we will see that because we have already discussed the route is a combination of combination of the uri and the http verb but here the verb is different i wanted to tell you that all these three methods are having the parameters dynamic values but this one is http delete so this one is different but here we if you notice both are http get and here we can see both are having a dynamic value so meaning of that the route is almost equal but there is only change in data type meaning let me copy and paste it in the next line if you see this one so action 2 action 4 are having same kind of routes so this one also http get this one also http get but if you notice that the uri also almost same we can say it is the same but the only difference here here we are passing integer data here we are passing the string data so when we are passing like that we have to mention the data type otherwise web api cannot decide which you want to call let's see that let me minimize this let me call this one get student by name so here i am entering one so i wanted to enter one and i wanted to see that so here you can see the request matched multiple endpoints it is saying there are multiple endpoints which is matching this one if i hit with the string name also suppose i wanted to hit with a string only actual string only so this one is a get student by name i am giving the name and executing it so now also it is saying the same thing the request matched multiple endpoints meaning of that is so that request is matching with these two because we did not differentiate in data type so if there is no difference in data type these two are almost same so here we are passing the dynamic value and here also we are passing the dynamic value rest of the uri is same so in these cases there are routing constraints so we need to use routing constraints here so those routing constraints will safeguard us will add the filters to the routing here it is a integer and here it is a string so let me rerun this one now we will get one error so that error is this one the constraint reference string could not be resolved so this is because there is no string type constraint added for routing so there is there is an integer but there is no string type for this we need to use alphabetical alpha alpha is for alphabets so this will allow only the alphabets both in uppercase and lowercase okay let's run this now so here we can see it is working and let me run this this time i wanted to test it venkat here we can see the data venkat and let me search it with anil i can see anil data record number two student name is anil so let me retrieve student by id i want student first student so student id and to execute second student like this constraints will help us so now here what we are saying here is this dynamic value will be of type integer and here we are saying this dynamic value of type string now it is resolving the endpoint based on the data type we are passing so if you pass integer type data this one will get called if you pass string type data this one will get called okay that's the difference we can handle this kind of situation with constraints so this is not a string actually this is alpha and if you want to calculate the range of id 
so suppose if you are accepting age of a person if you want to restrict it to a 0 to 100 years only then you can put a range constraint here so colon minimum value minimum value of uh, 1 colon max of 100 like this there is a range attribute also if you want the list of constraints if you want the list of constraints so there are list of constraints here are the list of constraints alpha will be used to validate the string whether the user is sending string or not we have used like this and there is an integer so we have used this one now if you want to calculate the min and max so this is min you can use like that so it will validate the value whether it is sending minimum 10 or not like this so if you want to validate the range this will allow only the value incoming between 10 and 50 so these are the constraints you can use for you can try all these constraints and if you want to write your own constraints if these constraints are not satisfying your requirement you can build your own constraint okay using this code let me test this delete endpoint. Currently, if I run this, try it, execute. So we are getting two, two student details. And let me delete one. Try it. I want to delete first student deleted we got true response let me execute get all so if we execute get all it should return only two so the first record is deleted there is only one record okay so all four endpoints are working this is all about the routing in web api